Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here, and welcome or welcome back to a YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, I'm going to be going over 14 players that I think could find a brand new AFL club in 2023. Now, these 14 players have been delisted, not retired, not traded. They have been delisted, all right? So I'm just going to run you through every single one of them. Starting off with the first player, which I am going to make a video on my second channel, a little bit more about this man, Quinton Narkel. Now, I do feel like he is the best player uh, in this pool of delisted free agents that have been delisted. I reckon he should most certainly find a brand new home, a young midfielder. Uh, that hasn't had a lot of opportunity at AFL level. I think he surely has to find a brand new AFL home. I will make a video on my second channel, Extra Flaming. Uh, check the link in the description to go and find and to go and see that channel. But yeah, I reckon he'll be at a new AFL club next year for sure. Next player, didn't know that this was a rumour, but Jared Lean from St Kilda has attracted some interest as a delisted free agent. Now, I didn't know about this. I was not going to add him in the video, but I did see a bit of news that he has attracted interest from up to four clubs that want his services next year. Now, he's an older player, but he didn't play too bad for the Saints over the course of the year. Um, not sure whether he will get to another club, but yes, that has been some news that is uh, out there that Jared Lean is in the running to find a brand new AFL home. So, Jimmy Rowe, uh, rumoured to the Western Bulldogs in the trade period. Now, it's a free agent. He can go there for free uh, if he wants to, and if the doggies want him, he can get there. Now, Jimmy Rowe, small forward, an exciting small forward. Of course, the Crows, though, with the additions of Rochelle and Rankin over the past couple of years, they don't really need Jimmy Rowe. I'm a bit surprised that they did decide to ax him. He's a pretty good player, and I just don't think he's hit his full potential just yet. I reckon he could, yeah. Any club that needs a small forward, I reckon they should definitely be circling Jimmy Rowe. Now, Jack Majden fell one game short from a contract extension at Collingwood. A uh, bit of a bad luck with injuries throughout the season for Jack Majden. Now, whether he finds a brand new AFL home or not is yet to be decided. He has played uh, regularly in Collingwood side, you could say, over the past couple of years. So I do feel like he's one of those 50-50 ones. He may find a new home, may not. Not quite sure on him just yet. Caleb Poulter has also been delisted by Collingwood as well. Now, he has also been rumoured to find a brand new club. Now, Adelaide were interested in him. I don't think they're interested in him anymore, but Gold Coast has emerged as a suitor for him as well. Um, but, again, they have been circling a couple of other players. They kept Fiorini, so I do feel like the chances of him finding a new AFL home now are unlikely, but he could still end up finding his way to Adelaide if they re-get interest, Port Adelaide if they want him or Gold Coast, but I feel like those would be the three most likely destinations if this outcome is likely for him. Now, Callum Brown is another pool, um, and is another player that is a midfielder in this pool of delisted free agents uh, that I think can get another home. Again, I feel like it's going to be tough for him to get another home with list spots and all that. His brother Tyler Brown as well is also in some problems. I don't think Tyler Brown will find a new home. He's not in this video. Callum Brown, though, I do feel like he has more of a chance. He might get there. I'm not I'm not sure if he will. Another midfielder, that could be really hard to find a new home as a midfielder. So Liam Stock has been rumoured for Essendon. That was an, another trade period rumour. Not sure whether he'll still get there now because they added Setterfield, they added Wiedemann. I'm not sure if they're going to need Stocker now. He could be a handy halfback player. Uh, their back line is okay. It's not the greatest, but could do with the addition of Stocker. But again, it's just going to be interesting to see uh, with list spots whether he will get onto their list or not either. Now, Francis Evans, the only reason why I made this list is because he wants to go to Port Adelaide as a delisted free agent. Now, he should get there by all means. Um, now, the only reason, the only way that I don't see him getting there is list spots uh, at Port Adelaide if they can't fit him in there. But I, again, I just I, I reckon he, he'll get to Port Adelaide. It's either Port Adelaide or nothing for him. And I reckon he's been room to go to Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide want him. Port Adelaide should get him. Connor Blakely, forgotten name around the AFL, is another one to be rumoured. Um, another exit from the Fremantle Dockers. He hasn't played in years, Connor Blakely. Um, you almost forget that he even exists as an AFL player. I haven't seen him in a long time in action for Fremantle. Um, but yes, he has been rumoured. That Gold Coast, I think, have been a little bit interested. He may find a new home. He may not. Uh, we haven't seen him in action for so many years in, at AFL level that you really don't know how he's going to bounce back. Um, returning to an AFL list, whether he even plays in the AFL side is another question or whether he's st stuck in uh, VFL. 
So Tom Phillips is a ready-made wingman, not necessarily midfielder, but a ready-made wingman that could go to any club, really. Now, again, chances of him finding a new home can be a little bit unlikely, considering he's a wingman uh, or a midfielder, and players already have plenty of them. But he could still find another home and could be one that could be worth having a little bit of a look at. Could Tom Phillips? Uh, been a little bit unlucky over the past couple of years, but yeah, if, if any club needs a, win a wingman, he could be one uh, that could be useful to uh, circle around. So Daniel Howe, he is a versatile player on this list. Now, there's a couple more versatile players. One that I do want to talk about uh, in particular, which is coming a little bit later on in the video. But yes, Daniel Howe is a bit of a versatile player. He could play in the midfield or on half forward. He could even play as a key forward due to his height. So I feel like just by reading some of his um, stats and his height, I reckon he should be picked up. But whether he is or not is a different question. I do feel like that he does have some skills to find another AFL list, perhaps. Um, so really now it just comes down to does anybody want a player that could be as skillful as him or not? Uh, again, it all comes down to list spots, draft, uh, pre-season draft, all that kind of thing um, as well, which is going to be what recruiters are planning on as to whether they go after him or not. But he's a versatile option, and I do feel like he could, he could be played anywhere in the front half of the ground to the midfield. Now, Jed Anderson, a bit of a surprise one on this list. Quite surprised North Melbourne didn't keep him. Of course, adding Logan Sucker to their midfield throughout the trade period probably did end up making this decision a little bit easier. Now, Jed Anderson, another player we haven't seen in action for a little while. He had a stellar 2020 season. And then 2021, 2022, he just went missing, it felt like. Now, he is a ready-made midfield, midfielder option. He's been rumoured to the Gold Coast Suns. I reckon he could potentially get there. He is a ready-made midfield option. I do feel like he's a... Pretty good chance of finding a brand new club as well. One of the more possibilities on this list to find a new club is Jed Anderson. Now, Martin Frederick, anybody looking for any club looking for a small forward with speed and dash, Martin Frederick is your man from Port Adelaide. Again, haven't seen a lot of him at AFL level, but again, I do feel like he could be a very valuable asset. Um, now, I think West Coast have showed interest in him, I think. Um, West Coast have showed a bit of interest in him. Not sure whether he gets there, not sure whether he gets there or not, but I do feel like that if a club does need a, a um, fast, small forward that's got some tricks, I reckon Martin Frederick could be their man. But yeah, this could be a very unlucky one for Martin Frederick if he doesn't find a new club. So Zach Langdon from the West Coast Eagles. Now he's a small forward. He still had a year to run on his contract and then got surprisingly delisted by West Coast. Now again, he's not overly talented, not overly skillful, not overly amazing. His stats aren't bursting off the stat sheet or anything. But just again, for a club looking for a small forward, he could be a reliable player. He could go to Essendon, I reckon. Like he could be a player that might fit at Essendon perhaps um, that Essendon do don't mind their small forwards so look just a, just a player he he might get a lifeline he might not he's not as I said stats aren't off the sheet but if you just need a key forward he could be a now replacement he's ready to go now as a replacement for now not not too much um, many years but I reckon he could he could maybe he's probably going to be he probably have to, will have to go back to a state league but he might get a chance now, the final man on this list is Jackson Nelson from West Coast. This is the final player on the list now. I was going through his stat sheet. They are actually pretty good stats that he does have, and he's a very versatile player. He could be played anywhere from key forward, half forward, wing, midfield, uh, half back, key back. I do feel like the opportunities are endless for Jack Nelson, but it is are the clubs willing to take a risk? Now, this could be a bit of a risk as well because he could be quite a poor player in any position as well. That's that's the problem with versatile players. They can be poor in positions as well. Uh, a bit like Josh Walker, he's been delisted. He's not on the list for a, a bit of a reason like that. So Jackson Nelson is a bit of a risk if clubs are willing to take him on. But he has got already 100 games under his belt. I do feel like he is still a bit of a ready-made option if clubs do want to explore that. So that is my list of players that I think could get a lifeline, an AFL lifeline for 2023. Now, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my second channel if you want to go ahead and see more on Quinton Narkel, uh, what I think about him. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much. Bye everyone. Flaming footy out.